in today's video we are going to see about environmental management preparation uh, plan preparation so we are also see about the components of emp as well so here emp is nothing but environmental management plan so before going to its components now let's just see what is planning and how the planning is related to the environment here so general terms of planning what it refers to is it's a process which helps us to make sure that we achieve our desired goal so it will be helpful okay it's a strategy okay so that is what general meaning of plan so here how the planning is related to the environment is it is a decision making process that means it will be the main part or it will play a crucial role in making a decision that whether a particular project should be accepted or rejected or modified so how do we do, do that based on analyzing or assessing the environmental and social and political economic factors so whichever impact on the environment so in just brief we can say it as planning it is a uh, planning is a decision making process which will help us to analyze the environmental factors based and its impacts on the environment okay so this planning what is the main aim of planning is we have to maintain a sustainable environment for our future generations so since we we got uh, our environment from our ancestors so the same thing we have to give it to our future generations without any consequences or without any pollution to them okay and the environmental management plan it is also called as impact management plan so sometimes you may get question like write about impact management plan so this is the main point okay imp is also known as emp emp is also known as imp and now let's see the components of the environmental management plan so first one is list of environmental impacts so what is this means it is a summary of the predicted adverse environmental and uh, social impacts of the proposed project so for which uh, we monitor or uh, whatever the monitoring should be specified that means whatever the uh, whenever we take a project uh, we should have a summary of all the impacts that will be caused by that particular project so you can say that it is a summary of predicted adverse impacts adverse environmental impacts okay this is list of environmental impacts and the second one is description of mitigation measure so mitigation is monitoring so the mitigation measures how what about what we have to take this monitoring method so it's all about the whatever we have predicted in the first step that is uh, whatever the environmental impacts we have uh, taken here we have to make sure that we monitor them here okay why because if we monitor them only we can uh, know whether we should include them in the project project design or uh, we have to include them in the operating procedures and the technical aspects of implementing that various particular methods okay and uh, so you can say here it is monitoring the impacts to include in to include in project you can just add few more words as well like project design technical impacts and the operation phase so this is how you have to elaborate in uh, the answer okay description of <coughs> monitoring program so this program should explain the impacts and their measurement indicators and also the limits that will indicate so that to make the corrective actions that means it should be able to explain the impacts whatever we have uh, taken here explain impacts and it should be able to provide us certain limits okay certain limits to limits and measurements okay to take necessary actions i'll try to take actions you can just elaborate by adding few words as well and the other one is organized arrangement so here the mitigation and monitoring arrangements these two must be well coordinated so that various actors or various uh, people who are involved in this project will be taking uh, 
a particular action such that that actions will be uh, perfect and they act accordingly according, according to the project okay uh, that means whatever the arrangements we are doing here in this three steps they must be coordinated with each other that means if you have taken a uh, monitoring method or you are taking up certain action to reduce the impact of one particular uh, activity it should be able to make sure that whatever the action you are taking that should not be affected for the other activities that means they should be well coordinated here well coordinated so that the other actors also will take necessary act to uh, responsibly okay and the other one okay implementation schedules and reporting procedure so this component of environmental management plan so this uh, will include the information about the progress and the results of the mitigation and monitoring measures okay this will include the results of mitigation and uh, information on on the progress of what previous steps what are the previous steps mitigation okay so you can write that as well yeah. next cost estimates and uh, source of funds so this is something you'll have uh, examples as well uh, with a real life examples we'll just discuss this one and the cost estimates and source of funds is the initial investment and the recurring expenses whatever we are uh, taking during the design stage and uh, pre-construction stage and construction stage and also you can say operation stage so all these must be defined and they all should be specified that means here it, the name itself is it is uh, saying its cost so all the investments in every step all the investments in every step should be specified okay here also you can write in every steps means you can also like just that is you can write as design stage pre-construction stage construction stage operation stage so these are all the stages of project right so you can mention that as this is the main thing so now let's see the example for this cost estimate and source of funds okay so one uh, regular example is there is a small uh, town in a rural area called uh, it is called as aro villo aro villo okay it's a small township in rural area okay what is all uh, about is it is in a low lying plateau actually in the Tamil Nadu. So, uh, what happened is it is 60 kilometers to the south of uh, Chennai in South India. Now, this place is reputed as a wasteland, okay, for reclamation and reforestation work. So, now this barren land is transformed into a green area by planting more than some 2 million different types of trees, I guess. So, after this soil and water conservation so we have uh, con they have constructed a uh, small dams and uh, they have promoted biodiversity and also environmental restoration and they have started organic farming also to create a environmental friendly and sustainable area for the main activities okay whatever uh, they are pursued in the Aravilli uh, small that township so what here the environmental team is uh, doing is so they have just transformed a, a waste barren land into a very beautiful and the most conserved place in that small township such that the township is uh, whatever the township the near the nearby all the cities are benefiting from that small uh, land which they have reformed into the a very good uh, place so with the environmental friendly so because of that land whatever they have transformed transformed which is near the arrow village so because of the transformation they are able to get many different resources from them and also they are producing renewable energy sources like solar wind and uh, biomass so this town is almost having 
1200 photo uh, voltaic cells i mean what uh, voltaic panels okay and we ha they have also 30 windmills which are generating for electricity and they are supplying water as well so what is happening here because of the waste barren land which has been transformed into most conservative land many of the cities nearby uh, that uh, Aro village township are benefiting from many of the resources so here why we have taken this as an example because this is how environmental management uh, work so they'll take a waste and barren land like this and they'll go all the six uh, whatever we have discussed it in our six components and then they'll finally they'll estimate the cost and see planting trees that doesn't uh, require much investment right okay they'll grow we won't uh, we'll be just needing some seeds and then land uh, we have to dig the land and then we need some people to plant the seeds and then uh, just a few members to make sure that the plants are healthier and uh, for watering and for pesticides all those only for those things we need the people and all okay plants we don't uh, make them to grow they'll grow it right so the investment will be less here but the whatever the outcome see for this land what happened 1200 photovoltaic panels they are using photovoltaic panels and 30 windmills they they started because of this small area which is near the uh, Aroville uh, township okay 30 windmills and they are supplying water as well so these are all the uses okay you can so this you can mention this example as a case study for this environmental management plan answer okay thank you